Okay guys, time to play some Counter-Strike. Go short, go short and plant the bomb. Plant the bomb. Damn, plant the bomb! Come on guys, we almost got it. We almost got it! What? Out of memory? Are you s Hey guys, have you ever been in the same situation where you just want to smash your computer because it runs out of memory and then the game is crashing, Windows is shutting down or you just lose all your data? So in the last video I've upgraded this notebook, the ASUS ROG GL502VS with an SSD. But it was just a 240GB SSD and it's almost full all of the time. So it's just like you would buy an entry-level MacBook. So today in this video I want to show you how to extend your internal memory with MSATA M.2 SSDs. And my buddies over at Kingston were so nice to send me one over and in this video I want to show you how to install it. So I would say let's get directly started. It's upgrade time. In the last video I've upgraded the internal 2.5 inch SSD and the RAM. But now it was time for another SSD because to be honest who can live with 240 gigabytes? So now you got the choice what SSD should you pick? 2.5 inch SSDs are very limited by the SATA interface, which is 6 gigabit per second. MSATA SSDs are smaller, mostly made for laptops, and they have the same 6 gigabit per second SATA limit. Now M.2 is the successor to the MSATA, and M.2 SSDs are up to 4 times faster than a SATA free SSD, and can single handedly beat 2 SATA SSDs in RAID 0. Now my notebook supports M.2 SSDs and NVMe. NVMe allows software to talk to the latest PCIe SSDs and it is the successor to AHCI which talks of SATA devices. NVMe allows PCIe SSDs to run at peak performance 5 times of SATA with less power consumption. So Kingston offers two series, the cheaper SSD Now G2 M.2 SSDs or the high performance Hypax Predator series. If you're just looking for a cheap storage expansion, you can get the G2. For faster speeds and high performance, just get the more expensive Hypax series. Changing the SSD is usually very easy and just takes a couple of minutes. And if you don't know how to take your notebook apart, then there are some guides on ifixit.com. Now before you open up your notebook, shut it down and remove the battery. Now ground yourself or use an anti-static wristband and start removing the back cover. On my Asus it's super easy to spot the M.2 SSD slot. And on some other notebooks you probably need to remove the keyboard too because the slot could be on the other side of the mainboard. Currently an M.2 SSD has either one of three key types, B, M or B plus M, while the socket can only have one key. As the key positions of B and M are slightly different, the M.2 SSD can only be installed one way. Also they have different length types, so make sure you check what you need before you buy your SSD. Now slide in your M.2 or M.8 SSD and make sure it fits in the socket. Then push it down and fix it with the screw. Alright, so that's it. As you can see, it really just takes you a couple of minutes to change the SSD when you got the correct one. And now, if it's not your main drive, you can just clone your C drive and boot from the SSD if your buyer supports it. And usually on all modern notebooks or PCs, this is no problem. So reassemble the PC or notebook carefully and reconnect the battery. And now you can enjoy super fast speeds and depending on your SSD, even more storage. So in my case, I tried to clone the drive and boot from the M.2 SSD. And it's actually around 4 seconds faster than the SATA one, even though they have similar read speeds. So the G2 with 480GB offers around 550MB per second read and 520MB per second write. Now I know it doesn't sound a lot, but I'm really happy and the speed is definitely enough for me and I can live with around 700GB of portable SSD storage. 
So guys, you're now here at the end of this video and just to sum it up, M SATA or M.2 SSDs are a really easy and nice way to upgrade your notebook or computer to faster storage. However, you should just check if your motherboard, if your notebook um, is actually compatible with NVMe SSDs because they are way faster than the normal M SATA SSDs, but also they are more expensive. For instance, Kingston has also a performance series, it's the HyperX Predator, but it's also like double of the price for the same capacity. So well, I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe that you won't miss any future content. I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.